Hello, my name is David Larson, amateur radio operator KK4WW. We're located here in Floyd, Virginia at the Floyd Community Amateur Radio Station, N4USA. At the Frostfest this year, 2012, I was able to purchase a nice little antique radio, about 50 years old, little transmitter called the Conair 400. This is a little CW 35 watt transmitter built by the National Radio Institute as a training device to train folks about electronic components, reading schematic diagrams, learning how to wire circuits, and learning about communication circuits, particularly transmitter circuits. They built this as part of the course, and hopefully we're able to get their amateur novice license and operate on the air with this transmitter. There was a companion receiver that went with it, but today we're going to discuss this little collectible unit, and I'm so delighted to have. So let's take a look inside the Conair 400 CW transmitter. Just give you a little close-up of the controls on the Conair transmitter. Of course, here's the two capacitors for tuning the Pi network. Here's the band switch for 15, 40, and 20 meters. And here's where we would plug in the key for keying the device. And here's where we plug in the crystal. And here's the on-off switch. And here's the indicator lamp indicating it's on. And this is the meter for reading the cathode current. And that's how we tune it, for minimum current uh, gives us resonance. And so, well, let's take a look at the electronic components here of the Conair 400 uh, transmitter. Here's the power transformer that converts the AC line voltage to the high voltage and the filament voltage. Back here is a couple of uh, ceramic capacitors. Here's the back of the meter and the two connections to the meter. Here's the lamp down here that shows we're on or off, and another uh, resistor in here, fixed resistor. Here's the uh, RF choke. There's another capacitor, ceramic capacitor here. Here's a little parasitic uh, filter. It's a resistor and inductor. And of course, here's the tube. This is a tube that produces the RF 25 watts. Back here is the inductor, part of the Pi network, this bigger inductor right here. This is the Pi network. And here are the two variable capacitors. We saw those in a schematic, or we'll see them. The two in the Pi network, there's two of them, one on the input and one on the output. And then down in here is the switch for switching uh, between 40, 15, and 80 meters, the band switch as we would call it. Taking a look at the schematic diagram, we see the transmitter tube circuitry. And over here is the crystal. This is what controls the frequency. This is a cathode we call a cathode keyed system. Here's the keying. Plug our key in here, and we key the cathode. Here's the meter for reading the current through the tube. This is a self-oscillating tube con controlled by the crystal. Here's a parasitic suppressor, which suppresses uh, spurious um, RF that we don't want. And uh, here's an RF choke separating the RF from the DC power. Going on out to the right here is the tank circuitry. This is a Pi network. Here's a switch for switching between 80 meters, 40 meters, and 15 meters. This is some added inductance here. And um, here's the Pi network tuning, the input tuning, and the output tuning. And here's a fixed capacitor here as well. This is the output that goes to the output. So this is a Pi network circuit. Here's the transmitter circuit. And down here is the power supply. This is a transformer type power supply uh, with the secondary high voltage. Here's your full wave rectifiers and the capacitors giving the DC voltage for the plate. And over here is the secondary winding for the filament, lighting the filament. Here's the X, if you notice that connects right here to the X on the filament, and that energizes the filament. Here's the primary winding, switch for turning the unit on and off, the light bulb to tell you that it's on or off. Well, thank you very much for watching our video on this Conair 430 watt CW transmitter. We hope you've enjoyed it. We've certainly enjoyed it. And if you're a ham radio operator, happy hamming, and have a nice day.